Tony D and Little Jones somewhere in the background. And this is a screenwriter's rant on I Like Movies, an indie movie about a guy who loves movies. He's in high school. He wants to be a filmmaker. He likes movies a little too much. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys books 1 through 15. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Um, so he's a young guy. He's in high school. He gets a job at the video place. He thinks it's going to be about talking about movies, but really it's about selling copies of Shrek. <laughs> and uh, this takes place during the uh, uh, video rental era. So there are still videotapes, and they rewind them. And I think they, I think DVDs are just brand new. And he desperately wants to be a filmmaker and do stuff in film. But he's a bit of a snob and uh, he alienates his best friend and uh, um, uh, gets into all sorts of problems because he's kind of too obsessed with movies to the point at which he sort of shuts other people out. At one point he gets invited to a, a uh, party, but he turns it down to... Uh, go watch movies so he's kind of sad he's kind of a sad figure um, but it's kind of a funny movie he's only happy in the movie theater I can kind of relate to it a little bit um, but uh, yeah I, I, I kind of like it I kind of like it it's sort of po poignant po poignant poignant you know it's kind of uh, touchy um, so first act He's utterly obsessed with movies. He's making movies. They're not really all that great. He's, his friend is helping, but his friend's not that into movies. He's more like just his friend. And then um, he gets a job at the video store. Thinks it's going to change his life, maybe help him uh, get into the movie industry. And uh, he's disillusioned to find out, no, that's not the case. But he does come up with the idea of having the staff picks. And he's meeting people, and um, he meets a girl, but uh, uh, not her, the other girl. And uh, but the girl doesn't, you know. She she basically tells him, "It's not my job to make you happy here." <laughs> and he can't kind of accept reality. And then uh, either he gets worse to the point that he alienates all his friends and just keeps going to the movies. Like here, he looks completely dejected, and then he ends up in the movies, and he's just smiling. That might be the end of the movie. Like he alienates all his friends, loses his job, loses his opportunity to get a girlfriend, and then he just goes back to the movies. It's the only thing that makes him happy. So it might end very sadly. The funny way is he would maybe get it get an opportunity to work in a movie. Um, so here's the write up, Lawrence, a socially and inept. 17-year-old cinephile gets a job at a video store where he forms a complicated friendship with an older female manager. So, yeah, I would totally say this. I like these kinds of movies, but I'm a movie nut, so I could totally relate to the character. I remember this era. I was a little older, but I definitely remembered renting movies and going to the movie. I, I kind of enjoyed renting movies. I really enjoyed the entire process of walking around the store and picking a movie to rent. There was something about that that was kind of fun. Uh, now that's all gone because you could just stream it. But back then it was kind of it was kind of cool. And then you could keep the movie a day or two, and maybe it'd take keep it three days if you had the weekend. And then at some point you'd rewind it or put it back in its case, and then go to the video store and drop it in the mail slot. Um, so yeah, I was a big fan of Blockbuster back in the day, but it's all gone. It's all gone. No need for it. Movies are everywhere. Beamed right into your brain one day, I think. Um, will movies survive? I don't know, man. I think something's going to survive. Quality will survive. People like quality. So, uh, is this quality? Eh, I kind of like it. It's got it's got a lot of heart, which I, do, I enjoy. There's not a lot of heart in Hollywood movies. This This feels like it has heart. So check it out. It's called I Like Movies. I expect 
it'll probably go right to video streaming anyway. And that's it for me, Tony D. And Little Joan, somewhere in the house. Um, what's coming up for me? Tomorrow, I'll be at the Women's Club in Vineland at 6 p.m. Then on Friday, I'll be uh, at a senior place in Voorhees at 2. Then at 7 p.m., I'm in Bordentown for um, the Jersey Devil Homecoming at the Old City Hall in Bordentown, New Jersey. That's going to be fun. Saturday, I'll be at Geek Fest from 10 to 4. Sunday, I'll be at the, uh, uh, what is it, the Fall? It's called like Fall Event or something? Mm, it's called Triple Oaks Fall Fest, 11 to 4. And then Monday, I'll be at the Morristown Library at 7 p.m. for my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you tomorrow.